Los caminos artísticos tienen vertientes de coincidencia. Algunos de ellos sirven para hacer paralelismos en el desarrollo e inspiración de disciplinas que no son pares. Por ejemplo, si tuviéramos que comparar el desarrollo musical de un proyecto con la construcción arquitectónica de una casa, ¿qué sucedería? Aquí, lo que nos respondió Roy Sop. If it was a house, every room would be decorated differently, um, in various styles. Um, such a house needs um, something to glue it all together, and for us, that is the visuals that go along with the project. We have um, visualizers made by Jonathan Savada, and we have worked with Bacon uh, to make short films. Whereas the rooms themselves are lighted differently, they got different. Some rooms got carpet. Some rooms are more minimalist, minimalistic, and some rooms are, you know, decorated in an, maybe in a, a retro style. So that's, that's our album. La banda noruega decidió meter el acelerador en 2022 para lanzar tres discos diferentes con colaboraciones visuales y sonoras de altísima calidad. If we stay within the building house metaphor uh, to subscribe to existing uh, styles of, of building, i.e. not go for the Art Deco or the whatever Bauhaus, but create your own style, which is what we believe Rakes Up always have been doing. Ale. So that's to you stretch the analogy even further. We are not only um, the architects, but we're also the builders. <laughs> Los procesos de producción continúan siendo un reto. Those kind of things were a bit tricky and it's time consuming. To have one playing the viola in the UK and the violin in Germany and you know the flute in France. So piecing all these things together is very time consuming and more difficult uh, during lockdown rather than, you know, the normal procedure of meeting in one room and sitting together. La construcción siempre llega a un fin para que la gente habite casas y edificios. Eso no sucede con la música de Royzo. I think uh, in all honesty all the albums uh, is combined into one building. It's like the uh, Sagrada Familia of Gaudi uh, in in Spain in Barcelona. So it's still under construction. We haven't completed it yet. And the, the completion will be there. Construcción constante para los fanáticos y aquellos que vayan a hacerlo. Gonzalo Oliveros, Fuerza Informativa Azteca.